Do you have a seasonal depression or a seasonal blues, also called seasonal affective disorder? I have a simple thing that you can do to kick it to the curb. Simple things you can do when you feel like poop. Seasonal depression or blues, sad, is a real phenomenon. It has a different effect for different people, but for everyone, in however you feel it, I have got a trick up my sleeve to pull you out of your slump. So stay tuned to The Big Reveal. Watch, subscribe, like, and share, comment, ring the bell. You may have seen me here before, languishing on the couch, my personal black cloud taking up residence above my head. And I've been wearing the same couch body wear for days and my makeup consists of Cheeto dust on my lips and chocolate in the corners of my mouth. And I've been Netflix binging again to try and distract me from my inert self and the pile of dishes beginning to grow mold in the kitchen. For some people, it's the beginning of the year that's especially tough. I'm not sure if it's the letdown after being with family and friends more than usual, or the time off is over, and it's back to the grind of daily living. And for others, it can hit somewhere between September and December, but really it could hit us at any time. My husband and I were watching one of his car shows, and the fastest accelerating car, the Bugatti, can go from zero to 249 miles per hour and back to zero in 42 seconds. Are you like that? Zoom, High zoom, velocity zoom. living, I call it. Zoom, zoom, Vectoring zoom, zoom. right on up the to-do list and back on down again. And now we're dragging. Because unlike that feat of German engineering, we are left in the dust. Poof. So one dust-filled day, my friend calls to meet me for lunch, and so my personal black cloud and I drag myself off the couch and make myself presentable for the public. Cheeto dust removed, let's do this. I'm hoping being with my chipper friend will cheer me up. But no, I see her waiting at a table in the restaurant and notice she also has her own personal black cloud. Oh dear, hers is as black and looming as mine. Bummer. Looks like seasonal blues have got a hold of her too. She was probably hoping I'd cheer her up. Looks like we are both in for disappointment. This is more likely to be a misery loves company lunch rather than a cheer inspiring one. Back home, I resume my position on the couch and think back to lunch. I need to do something to pull me out of this slump. Nothing too strenuous because obviously I'm not in top physical condition and also my mental and emotional energy are in short supply. So I keep lying here. This seems like a good thinking position, so I'll just maintain this for a little while longer. Do you find yourself trying to manage this black, icky, sticky, blobby goo of negative emotions? Not appreciating who you are and the things that you do? You ignore your positive qualities, getting caught up in the loop of negative thinking criticizing and blaming yourself and others, getting upset with the ones that you're close to, your family and friends, and the people you work with. Then you get upset with yourself. And we replay it all in our heads at night, over and over and over. Things we said and didn't say, wish we would have said, at the same time fearing that they are judging us like we are judging them. It's a vicious cycle, isn't it? Each negative emotion intensifying and aggravating the next one. Not too many Netflix episodes later, I think I can't lay here forever. Time to give the stinking thinking the boot. What would help? My teacher Chloe once told me that you can't be depressed and grateful at the same time. And an article in Psychology Today magazine agreed saying gratitude and appreciation impact your life because it engages your brain in a virtuous cycle. Our brain only has so much power to focus attention, so it can't easily focus on both the positive and the negative stimuli at the same time. Hmm, a virtuous cycle. Well, that's a feedback loop. It's the exact opposite of the vicious cycle that we get stuck in cycling all those negative thoughts and emotions over and over again. And this is where appreciation and gratitude come in. Gratitude is the base from which appreciation thrives. 
Gratitude, according to one dictionary, is a quality of being thankful, while appreciation is recognizing a person or thing's worth. I appreciate that aforementioned Bugatti, but I don't think it. So we can have one quality without the other. When my husband brings me a pizza, I show my gratitude, so I thank him. And I go further by showing my appreciation of its beauty, its fragrance, every single bite of its lovely, crusty, delicious self. The pizza, not my husband. I appreciate my husband too, though. So to make gratitude go deeper, we can move beyond the thank you and see and feel the value, the quality, the significance, and magnitude that the person or the thing adds to our lives. And the more you think about it, you begin to realize why this simple thing, this act of appreciation and gratitude, move us away from that vicious cycle of negative emotions and circular thinking. Appreciation, when sincere and genuine, can energize the giver and the receiver. Could you use some energizing right now? It opens the mind to acknowledging the positive qualities of others and the many wonderful things that they are and the things that they do that we're grateful for. Appreciation encourages us to be grateful for the gift of life and to see the positive in difficult situations. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns or we can rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Appreciation moves us to ask What's good about this? Instead of focusing on the negatives about ourselves and others or the situation that we're in. And what's great is that we can do this right here from our comfy position on the couch. So I do like Tigger. And think and think and think. I ask myself, what do I appreciate about myself? Eesh, sometimes this is hard. Silence, waiting, silence. Finally, a thought surfaces. I'm a good listener. My son was excited about a new project he was working on, and even though he was interrupting my show, I paused the TV, gave him my full attention, and applauded his creativity and innovation. So I said out loud, I appreciate that I'm a good listener. Hmm, yes, I'm a good listener. I check in with myself. It feels kind of weird to say it out loud, but it's more effective than saying it in my head. I tried that already. To my shock, I feel a smile on my face and just a teensy bit lighter. So I try it again. I ask, what do I appreciate about January? It's a new beginning. The calendar is blank and full of possibilities. How thrilling! I feel a warmth in my chest and I sit up on the couch. I feel a little bit excited because this is actually working. So I'm going to broaden the scope. What else do I appreciate? Mmm, chocolate with its yummy endorphins. The smell of fresh baked bread. Toilet paper. And duct tape. <laughs> hey, that's another thing to be grateful for. Laughter. I want to share my epiphany with my friend, so I make some chocolate chip cookies. What's better than a friend? A friend with chocolate. So I head on over to her house and she opens the door and I see her black cloud is still very much intact. Once inside with a big old hug and cookies in hand, I say, I really appreciate having you as a friend there with me through the craziness of life. Thank you, she says, and her black cloud shrinks as her mouth widens into a smile. I decide to make a game out of it and wrote my family into it as well. I put a poster on the wall in the kitchen with the title, Things We Appreciate. I go through my day trying to catch the things to be grateful for. Clean sheets, pajamas with feet, mouse traps, a husband to empty the mouse traps, Amazon, the five second rule. I discover that a little appreciation goes a long way toward improving my mood and outlook. I guess I appreciate appreciation. <laughs> a simple thing you can do anytime, anywhere that can kick the seasonal blues and bring some sunshine to your life. Let me know about your experience, if you pulled yourself out of the blues, or even if it didn't help at all. Until next time, have a gentle day. Please subscribe if you like to learn about other simple things you can do when you feel like poo. And share this video with your cookie-loving friend 
so she can have some sunshine too.